If wearing makeup will make you feel good, if it'll make you feel more confident, then go for it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela and today let's have a chat. But before we get into that, I just want to introduce my new background. This is actually the background that I've planned for my channel before I started filming. But I did have another background in my first video because I did film across the window for that good natural lighting as I don't have professional lighting. So please bear with me and my brokenness. <laughs> So I want to introduce my new series which is called Makeup for Beginners where I will be guiding you guys through the beginner tips and tricks when it comes to makeup. I am not a professional when it comes to makeup but I have been doing makeup for 3 years and I am enthusiastic about it so let's grow together in this YouTube journey. For my first video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 non-makeup related tips before starting out with makeup because it is good to have a healthy mindset when it comes to makeup. So let's get into it! My first tip for you guys is to know your why. So before starting out with anything really, it's important to know why. So figure out why you want to start doing makeup. So if it's to impress others or if you feel pressured to wear makeup, then it would feel like a chore and it wouldn't really be so fun. But the thing is, makeup should be fun. So try to find your own reason why you want to do it for yourself. It could be that you want to highlight your favorite features on your face or you want to feel more confident. And interestingly, women who wore makeup actually appears more confident and even appears healthier according to her research. So I know you can't just generalize one research to the whole public, but it does have some basis and I'll be citing the reference below like, <laughs> like a thesis, I guess. So to give some credibility to what I'm saying. So my point is, if wearing makeup will make you feel good, if it'll make you feel more confident, then go for it. My second tip for you guys is to start slow because as you may know, makeup has different components. You have your eyeliner, your primer, foundation, concealer, and all that. And even within those categories, like for lipsticks for example, you have your lip glosses, your lip balms, your matte liquid lipsticks, and all those different things <laughs> which can make makeup fun but also it can be very intimidating when you're starting out. So my tip is to just start slow. Start with whatever you're most fascinated with, if it's pressed powder or lipstick. And once you're comfortable enough with using it, then you can move on and try something else. So you just keep doing that onward and onward until you have the full face makeup look that you are going for. So for my third tip, it's find what works for you. So I'm going to be addressing the drugstore versus high-end kind of issue. Because when it comes to this, I know that people usually stay, say start with drugstore. And I did start out with Maybelline. However, when I tried other drugstore products, they ended up disappointing me. So it motivated me to try non-drugstore products like Benefit. And I find that that really works well for me. So just find what would work for you. For the issue with non-drugstore is that they are pricey. Especially back when I was in university, it would take me months to save up for one product. But what I did find about that is that they do last for about two years and a little goes a long way. So you do get the value for your money. And also what's good about drugstore is you don't have to save up for so long and you know, just don't break your bank account. And drugstore makeup can do the work. So just see which one you're more comfortable with depending on your budget. As I said, don't break your bank account. You don't have to and enjoy the process. It's a trial and error process. So my fourth tip for you guys is to invest in makeup brushes. So as important as having the product is, it's also important to have the right tools to apply it with. 
So makeup brushes can make a difference in terms of packing on product as well as how it applies the makeup on your face in terms of blending for example and also I once borrowed a brush from one of my friends and it turned out to be very scratchy and that is just not how you want to experience makeup. It should be fun and it should be comfortable. So do invest in good quality brushes. And also, I will be doing a separate video to elaborate on brushes, so please watch out for that. And do subscribe as well if you want to see that. My fifth and final tip for you guys is to have makeup free days. So this is important because if you do wear makeup often, it can make you feel confident, which is great. But also, it might distort your self-image and it and when you don't wear makeup, you might feel insecure. So to combat this, I like to have at least one day during the weekend, either on Friday or Saturday, which is the weekend here in Dubai, where I just go out without makeup and just, just remind myself to still be confident. Because at the end of the day, confidence comes from within, with or without makeup. And this is gonna sound cheesy, but please bear with me. At the end of the day, what matters more as well is your inner beauty. So this refers to your positive traits, like if you're kind, if you're intelligent, or if you're um, humble, if you're if you have a good sense of humor. So these are the things that people will remember you more than just how you look. Because if we deal with a lot of people every day, there are a lot of people who are gonna be beautiful as well. So if there's something about your personality that also catches people's attention, then I feel like that will make them remember you more. And in the long term as well, when it comes to your friends or with a significant other as well, it still matters more how you deal with them instead of just with how you look. All that said, I recommend you to have makeup free day or days and slay even without makeup. And those are my 5 non-makeup related tips before starting out makeup. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that you learned a lot as well. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And also if you want to see more content, and I'm doing my best to upload every week, so please do subscribe. And also if you have video ideas or requests under Makeup for Beginners or just in general, then please do comment them down below. I would love to read through them and be able to talk to you guys as well. So that's it for now. I hope that you guys have a great day, have a great week, and have a great life. See you guys in the next one. For my first video, I'm going to be sharing with you for all that which can make up the whole the, the, my fourth my fourth my fourth, my fifth and final tip for you guys is to have non-makeup free, huh?